<laughs> okay, so where are we at? Two hours in? Yeah, I got a couple more hours before I take my own break. Um, what were we up to here? We just need to check a few other things before we get rolling in the Cataclysm again. Many things are trying to ping me and notify me. Who's pinging me where? Alright. <clears throat> okay, I think everything's back again. So volume, headset, we're good to go. So what was I talking about? <laughs> I was trying to I was trying to eat when I got interrupted by zombie dog shenanigans. Let's do um Shelled nuts. And yeah, I gotta solve the food problem. So if I'm even gonna stay down here long enough to uh, to read that book, we do actually need food. Probably should have grabbed all the pine nuts that were up there when we were uh, up north. Um, I really haven't been paying much attention to picking up food from the local houses because we've got such a limited amount of carry capacity and we had other priorities at, at the time. So, it's either go a raiding or go pine nut hunting. Um, what time is it? It's going to be dark soon. I need to get at least one good night's sleep in before we go a raiding. We've got enough food. We can last until tomorrow. So, I think we'll read, sleep, hopefully time things so we wake up or at least can get to a nighttime. And then we'll do a nighttime raid into town again. Oh yeah, let's go chat with this guy for a second. So let me show you just how useless this guy is. Hey you, come with me. Here, here's how useless this guy is. Probably one of the worst NPCs I've seen. Uh, where's the one command I'm looking for? Can you teach me anything? Not that one. Yet at least. Uh, there it is. L. There he is. That's him in all his glory. 7688 for stats. He's a chemically imbalanced, slow healing hoarder. <laughs> With uh, his highest skill being marksmanship at three. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Not impressed. Not impressed. He's even got Spellcraft 2. <laughs> That's funny. Shotgun 4. Woo. We'll learn some marksmanship from him if he lets me. All right, uh, can you teach me anything? 13%, huh? Yeah, come on, we're friends. Aren't, aren't we friends? 13%. <laughs> uh, guard this position, you, you, you idiot. All right. Um, yeah, I guess we could hand him all the mutagens I'm not going to use. <laughs> We've got that tank of spider mutagen over in the other lab. That would be pretty funny. What do I have laying around? I've actually, I think, been passing up some of the stuff because I knew I was never going to use it. We've got uh, beast cattle, lots of feline, because, you know, I'm trying to be a bird mutant, so they keep handing me feline serums. Insect, lizard, and spider. Let's give him... Nah, that's not. Let's not even worry about that for now. I got other stuff I need to do. All right, let's get real. Let's get rolling here. I'm gonna do. Um, let's see. What's gonna be the more important? Probably the computer stuff, so we have the answers to a few of my other questions. Yeah, let's just start working on computers. I don't need the light. And, of course, I have Z-Levels on, so this is going to take freaking forever. Oh, God. I can't stand it. I may turn Z-Levels off just so I can actually get through this some of this book reading <laughs> in a reasonable amount of time. Otherwise, there's going to be a whole lot of chat time for me and you. You 
one charge is in my inhaler. Luckily, we've got a second inhaler, so I'm not too worried about that. <clears throat> Taking asthmatic is basically free points. Computer's one done. Not tired yet. 1930. Let's do... Yeah, just keep reading. Well, I guess while we're reading and waiting, I can answer questions. I got plenty of time while we're uh, slow poking our way through this Z-level reading process. If anybody has any uh, any questions for me, well, it's really hard to run out of asthmatic charges by before you find another inhaler. Inhalers pretty common as long as you're moving around houses. It's kind of hard not to get a bunch of inhalers. That's kind of why. I mean, if you're a new, brand new player and you're not able to really maneuver around effectively or know how to travel or that kind of stuff, then yeah, it could still be an issue, but 100 puffs on that thing and you can also fix it with uh, oxygen that you find in the game. It's just, uh, it, it's free points. I mean, it, it has no effect as long as you have the inhaler on you. And I mean, you'll go weeks of in-game time before you run out that first inhaler. Quick question, when would you wear light survivor armor versus regular versus heavy? It mainly comes down to character build. It's all about the character build. Depends on what other things you're doing with your character. If you've got a low strength character, you can't afford heavy armor because it just weighs too much. You'll have zero carry capacity. By the time you put your armor on, you won't be able to carry anything else or you'll be in serious negatives. It also depends on which... Um, whether you're focusing on avoidance of damage, dodge, versus uh, raw protection. If you want to have dodge abilities or a dodging type of martial art focus, then you don't want to have the heavy armor. So, I like light survivor armor and medium survivor armor. I almost never make heavy survivor armor, but I'm very much more focused on maneuvering and such than anything else. And I feel that heavy survivor armor and power armor, the only point to those generally speaking, is to save you from bullet fire, and I'm of the mind that I would rather just not get shot at. So, I'd prefer to uh, just not get shot at and uh, use my, my brain to uh, avoid those situations than to lumber around the game world in super, super slow, heavy armor um, that once every very long while is going to save me from a, uh, a shot. When I die to turrets, it's usually right up in my face, and even heavy survivor armor is not going to shrug off 5.56 five, rounds or an M250 caliber round from a, a turret five spaces away. <laughs> so, it just comes down to what kind of character build mainly. Bigger is not always better. What are we at? What are we at? What are we at? We're at uh, still not tired. Hmm. All right. Oh, I never, I never did get my water supply sorted either. Ah, uh, I am bad at this Cataclysm game. <laughs> I'm just kind of in too much of a hurry doing other stuff. Uh, oop, hat back on again. <laughs> I need a, I need a sound cue. I need a sound cue for those, uh, those duct tape things. Otherwise, it's at the, uh, <laughs> the mercy of me happening to uh, see them flow by through chat. Any danger eating blobs? Uh, I haven't done it for a very long time. The only time I used to do it is in lab escapes way back when, before we had these new fancy labs with all the new rooms, like apartment complexes and uh, kitchens and so on. Back then, you ate blob globs because that was goddamn the only thing in the lab that you could consume. <laughs> there was no other way to get sustenance, really. So starving to death in the labs was a very real thing way back when, and it was still horribly bad for you. Um, I think it's... God, I haven't done it in so long. I, I don't remember the exact effects, but I think it's horrible for the morale, so it's got like a negative big number for the fun factor, and it'll make you poisoned, and I can't remember what else. But, um... Yeah, beyond that, I, there's not too many reasons why you would ever eat blob gloves <laughs> without having special traits that allow it without consequence. There's just too much food available in the labs now. Labs are way, way easier to escape now than they used to be. Um, 
Thoughts about doing Amigo start for a challenge? Uh, I'm waiting for the Amigo stuff to get kind of settled down. I let stuff like that cook a while. There's been too many problems with Amigos. Same thing. I, I, I... New content like that, It a lot of times it gets thrown in with, uh, let's see what sticks to the wall approach, and it's just not well thought out or planned out. Evidence, the uh, the heat temperature problems with the Migo stuff or the whole Migo slaver issue with the uh, the beam and the whole scout issue with all of their stuff. I just, I can't put up with it too much, so eventually I'll, I'll give it a try. But the other problem I have is why? Why bother? There's nothing in there that's going to be worth going there for the danger involved. Um, so I, 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 I have that issue with a lot of the mid end game content. Type stuff. Why is my chat screen wonky all of a sudden? What the hell happened here? Uh, ah, there we go. What's the hardest game to learn in your opinion? Mm, probably Dwarf Fort. Dwarf Fortress. Combination of the, the complexity level, the UI, the control scheme, the 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 breadth of content. <laughs> I think Dwarf Fort probably has the uh, that one pretty solidly locked up as the hardest game to actually get into and uh, play effectively. Nightbot zapping people. <laughs> Any changes with fungal order tri fungal or triffids? Uh, yeah, there's been changes to. I don't think triffids have had much of a change, but fungal has been getting a little bit of attention. There are now some changes to the fungal tower setups, and uh, they changed the mature maturation rate of the uh, first fungal critter, made it slower to evolve and mature so it wouldn't spread quite as fast. And I think there's more changes coming. No super major changes, but there have been a few nerfs. What other games do I stream, play? Uh, I've been mostly focused on Cataclysm for quite a while now for the streaming stuff. You can check my YouTube channel for the other games that I've streamed. I did quite a bit of Seven Days to Die co-op with my buddy Makem. I mean, a few hundred episodes of that, playing the uh, super hard True Survival mod. Um, Crusader Kings 2 with the Warhammer mod on it. Uh, hit or miss here and there, a bunch of other games. <clears throat> This next coming month, I'm adding a bunch, so... It is time to turn my attention elsewhere. Oh yeah, RimWorld. I did uh, a fair amount of RimWorld before I, I got kind of bored with the basic gameplay loop in that one. Um, I've done Oxygen Not Included on the channel. Uh, just a couple of episodes. I haven't played a ton of it, but... Um, I've done a few episodes of a, a number of games. It just kind of gets really quickly buried in the mountain of Cataclysm content that I've done, <laughs> so... You gotta kinda dig to find some of it. Alright, let's uh let's get some more stuff done here real quick. Uh thirsty, I gotta I gotta solve my water problem too. Is it time to go do the, the six liter tank thing? I think it's time to go do the six liter tank thing. I got my tools with me. I don't need the pickaxe. Let's uh let's go get my water supply. We're gonna be here a little bit. I gotta I gotta solve a few things. I remember right, it was north where I had the, um... Am I remembering wrong? Nope, there it is. That's not it either. That's where I found the boxes. Do, do. I lost my map memory, so I can't just scroll the screen around. Where did... Remember that area? Hey, bad zombie. Rucksack. Hmm. 
Yeah, this is a little annoying. What? Now up there was the uh, prisoner containment. No way to go north here. There it is. That's what I need. All right, deconstruct. <clears throat> That's what I needed. Six liter tank. <laughs> Come here, you. Grab the uh, chunks and lumps, the pipes, and that's all. <laughs> Is that my, that's my NPC again. He's doing that teleporting and running around a super speed thing again. <laughs> At least it looks like that because I'm wielding a six liter tank. There he is. Hey buddy, it was just me breaking a window. You didn't need to come over here. <laughs> I keep forgetting to tell him to not investigate noises. Alright, fill it with water, please. So, we'll just leave that right over here. So, we've got a big old supply of water now. You still not back yet? You still wandering around out there, buddy? What are you doing over there? Now, I need to make sure I've got some gallon jugs that are empty. Let's grab that one. And unload that into there. Probably should have just grabbed another six liter tank, but that's all right. Um, that's right. I don't have a uh, I don't have a fire source in here or a safe place to light fires in here. Like a brazier. Mm, get some smoke inhalation. Have I played Caves of Ked? I have uh, attempted to play Caves of Ked two or three times now, and the interface color scheme drives me insane. <laughs> well, how else to put it? Every single time I try to play Caves of Ked, the, the interface and the color schemes and the way things look just makes me crazy, and I can't, can't, can't get into that game. I understand it's a popular game. I've been told it's great. I believe that people that say it's great, and I've, I've briefly watched some plays of it, and it looks fun. I just can't get my, my brain to wrap around Caves of Cud. So, yes, I, I know of Bonk. it. <laughs> hey, Fierce. Bonk back at you. Bonk back at you. <laughs> yeah, I've tried. I just I can't get into Caves of Cud for some reason. Caves of, uh, Dwarf Fortress is the thing I most get asked about playing on the channel. Caves of Cud falls into kind of a secondary group. There's a few games in that secondary group that people ask me about fairly regularly. <clears throat> um, all right, more, 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 more doing. Oops, spell it right. <clears throat> Activate. Ooh, brazier. Yeah, right there's fine. And now we're gonna need a firewood source. And I don't think I've gathered up planks yet either, have I? Any planks? Five planks. Yep, I haven't gathered up a wood supply. Come here, home wrecker. Oh, still putting stuff on the ground, is it? <laughs> That's kind of funny. They haven't fixed that problem yet. All right, home wrecker. Let's go. Uh, let's go make a mess.
That's taking a long time. How many rags are we dragging? 106, huh? Um... Oh yeah, that's, that's a long time for Z-Levels to process. Okay, that should be enough for a little while. Eh, only 49 planks, but whatever. Get a fire going. Get some water cooked up. Do uh, 15. Do, 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 do. Into the gallon jug. Do another batch. Also into the jug. Alright, so hydration's taken care of. That took a little longer than I wanted. Just about out of food. And we're still not thirst or so, still not tired, and it is nighttime. I haven't gotten my night's sleep yet. Um I probably should have slapped some bandages on while we passed a bunch of daylight or a bunch of hours. Uh, Where's my inventory? All right, I'm a little confused here. One second. Ah, all right, very late. Yeah, I really don't want to go out with my arms so close to getting uh, broken and the legs pretty damaged. So, let's uh, put the fire out, do one more thing of reading, and then check back in with chat. Do-do-do-do. Never seen a wind turbine CBM. Guessing that's uh, either brand brand new or that's a mod. Why not haul the tank of water along the ground instead of wielding it over? Doesn't make any real difference. The, 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 the situation I was in, it was pretty much irrelevant. Were I caring about the amount of time going by in that circumstance it would have been possibly better to do one over the other but I was in a safe place that I've already cleared multiple times and didn't really care Uh-oh. My lantern's going out. I forgot to turn off my uh, my lantern. <laughs> Rip battery. Well, there's computers three, and we're finally tired. All right, 8 a.m., we're tired. That's not too bad a timing, because that way we'll sleep the day away, and we'll do a night run back up in the town again. So I'm okay with that. Reload. Uh, headlamp. All right, now we're very hungry, and I don't have much in the way of food. I guess we'll have one of the chickens and an almond. All look good. I'm going to read a little longer. Get working on the next level here. Oh, too heavy to pick up. That's hilarious. I'm going to read until mm, maybe 11. Then we'll go ahead and go to sleep.
Chad can snuggle with me. There's two spaces of bed available. Yep. Keep going. Forgot about uh, how slow it's reading because of the Z levels. <laughs> All right, let's uh, slather on some bandaging. Let's see. Hey, our head's at max. Look at that. I'm gonna I'm gonna bandage everything else up. All right, I think that'll be fine. Two with disinfectant, everything else bandaged. I think we'll hit max on everything with that. Oop, where is Chad? Chad's still <laughs> off doing his own mystery thing. You still over here, Chad? Hey, hey, Chad. Hey, buddy, come with me. Damn it, keeps, menu keeps changing on me. I keep forgetting the keys. Get in here, Chadster. Guard. That that is the same command, right? That doesn't feel like the same command. Come with me. I think it is the same command. Guarded. All right. Uh, off to sleep we go. Mm, nah, that's fine. I don't think anything will wake me up. It might. Alright, uh, what other games have I been into recently? Uh, I bounce around a lot. I, I dabble here and there. Um, I've been uh, trying to pay attention to Unity of Command, which uh, I got the first battle done and on my YouTube channel, and I did that here live on Twitch. Uh, I need to get that done. I think I'll do uh, the next battle or two of that tomorrow. I'll live eh, yeah, I'll live stream that tomorrow um, so we can get a couple more battles of Unity of Command done. Um, trying to dabble with uh, Warhammer... Total War Warhammer 2. Just uh, just learning that. Um, that seems like it would have a lot of content. And uh, I really love the Warhammer universe. Been playing it since there's been a Warhammer universe. And uh, reading the novels and uh, playing the various versions. I'm always a fan of that. Uh, I'm dipping my toes into Project Zomboid. Which is one of the other ones most requested on the channel. I, I just, I have doubts about Project Zomboid and keeping my interest. It just seems like there's not nearly enough variety to keep me interested, but people tell me it's, uh, it's the, it's a good one to play, so I'll, uh, I'll, I'll try it out. I'll get some advice from folks and we'll see what happens. Uh, what else have I been dabbling with? Machinki, um, Age of Wonders 2, only a tiny bit, and there's a few others I need to get back into. Still sleeping. 1800. That left arm is not doing me any favors. Come on, left arm. But take a look at Battletech 2018. I haven't. I know of it. I played Battletech way back in the early days. And I've played versions of it all through the years. But um, I haven't played the newer versions of Battletech. <laughs> Kenshi. Yeah, Kenshi gets mentioned a few times, too. I'm just not convinced there's an audience there for Kenshi. All right, finally woke up. It's like Chad decided to take his nap. Uh, I should uh, come with me. Let's see. How do I tell him? Miscellaneous rules. Don't investigate noises. There you go. All right, hopefully he'll stay put there. 
<clears throat> uh, I'm, I've been waiting for the fabled C-sharp version of Aurora 4X. <laughs> I've played it. Well, uh, it's played me, <laughs> I guess is the, the proper way to put it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Aurora 4X, if, if you haven't heard of it, Aurora 4X is essentially the dwarf fortress of space games. <laughs> It is obtuse. That's a that's a rough one. That's 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 dwarf level, dwarf fortress level of obtuse. So he's saying this March something's gonna be released. Well, we'll see. <laughs> I put it aside. I, I started to learn it. I played it a bit and then put it aside, waiting for that fabled update or release. But um, yeah, we'll see whether that comes out before or after the uh, dwarf fortress Steam version. <laughs> Another another thing that's supposedly going to happen, but I, I I'll believe it when I see it. Yeah, Roar is like a sandbox 4X game. What do we got? Satisfy our our craving for uh, Aqua first, and let our stomach settle a bit. And then we'll have our chicken. All right, we are full and turgid. I think it's time to uh, go wander around outside again. So if we're going to do that, we are going to... Let's see. I'm not going to need a massive amount of bullets. We're doing a night run. We'll leave the reloads behind. Take the katana, just in case. And... Probably should get some tailoring done here sometime, at least if for no other reason than so I can repair some of this gear that I don't want to have to go find again. Leave that, of course. I only need one spare battery. Need to get more antiseptic. I don't need that many bandages with me. As soon as I drop the binoculars, I'll forget to pick them up again next time I go searching, but we'll, 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 we'll leave them. Even though I know I'm going to forget again. Alright, we do have uh, some moonlight advantage. That might be enough moonlight for us to not need the night vision goggles, the low light goggles. We'll see. Um, the goggles will at least work everywhere, not just outdoors. And uh, even if cloud cover comes over, I can still use the night vision. So we're definitely taking them. I think that's good enough. 4 out of 28 volume and 41 out of 58 weight. Alright. Let's do it. See how many people are in my basement here first. <laughs> yep, basement's occupied again. For no particular reason. <laughs> I didn't shoot my gun down here. But for some reason, the zombies keep insisting on coming down the stairs and just sitting here at this wall. I don't know if I've got a... There's there's not a building next door. I mean, there's a street over on this side. So it's not like there's a basement right next to us that they're hearing noises from. So I don't know what's got them so fascinated, but they keep coming downstairs into my basement and accumulating on this wall over here. Let's... um. Again, I don't want to fire my gun in this area. We'll wind run, and we'll walk these guys out of here. Probably have to do them individually, because otherwise this runner is going to get to me first. Whoops! <laughs> Didn't mean to have the headlamp on. Come on, game. No, they're just going to sit down there again. Ugh, more wonky nonsense. And the wind at my back. Oh, that's right. That's my wind runner spell dissipating. All right. I'll just have to remember they're down there and deal with them. So, yeah, like I was saying, we got pretty good night vision. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think we still get a little better with the night vision goggles, and I can use the goggles indoors. So, 
Let's um, switch to the goggles. Turn them on. Yeah, we get a few more spaces. 13, and the goggles last pretty much forever, so we'll just leave these on. Yeah, Adam or Ancient Domains of Mystery, I I dabbled with again, but I don't have any large interest in. <clears throat> I'm pretty spoiled on the things that adhere pretty closely to the roguelike standards with uh, Cataclysm. And um, trying to keep uh, Cataclysm in my brain and trying to relearn some of the older roguelike games that I've played. I just, I, my interest level in those has dropped substantially over what it used to, so I have a hard time getting back into those style games. They're just too closely related and um, I just don't find them as fun anymore. Alright, so we've hit most of these local houses. Um, we're also, because of the game world settings, a lot of the food options aren't available because we've got a lot of spoilage because we started 30-30, uh, so <clears throat> yeah. So, because of that, a lot of the stuff is rotten. So, let's, uh, let's just leave the neighborhood alone here. We'll move north. No, no mutations or CBMs. We are CBMless, and we are mutationless so far. We haven't managed to get any kind of... Uh, other than the stuff we started with. We haven't gotten any... Uh, bird serums or mutagens yet. I'm, I'm going to try to keep to that. Since I don't have robust genetics and I've got pretty bad stats and enough other problems, I can't take the risk of playing the uh, random mutagen lottery. <clears throat> so, we're not gonna. I'm still really freaked out by the fact that I can't open doors. <laughs> I have to smash windows to go everywhere. That was kind of rude. Where, where the hell did you pop out from? If you haven't noticed, zombies will kill themselves going through glass windows like crazy now. They're, they're, they're taking cut damage from broken glass way more than they used to. So if you have an option to uh, get a zombie to go through a window, take it. Because it'll kill them quite often. Especially this low level stuff. Clean binoculars, sure. I'll take a pair of clean binoculars. I'll get rid of that other pair. See? Door I can't get in, because I can't. <laughs> and another one. I have to make a bunch of noise, bashing the doors down. So, for folks that haven't uh, can't see the chat, what the problem is, is that they nerfed the makeshift crowbar back to having just one prying ability, which is not enough to pry open windows or doors, which is a huge change. That's It seems simple, but that's a massive change in early game capabilities for brand new characters, because now you have access to absolutely nothing that's going to easily get you through windows and doors into houses for early raiding. Um, you either have to break stuff or get lucky with a drop of a halogen bar or a crowbar. Crowbar is really hard to get a hold of randomly. And halogen bar, you know, go after firefighters or fire stations or the long fire truck. So at least you have an idea of where to look. But there's just not that many things that have the prying ability. I mean, fire axe, I believe, has prying too. Um, there's a few other kind of utility items, and there's other versions of crowbars, like the, the, the claw bar, or whatever it's called, and, and so on. But um, from just a brand new starting character in evac shelter, you're, you're out of luck. <laughs> you're smashing windows and making lots of noise. So, no, I know there's other ones. I'm not arguing the point. I'm just saying that uh, gone are the days of a brand new character being able to just uh, whip up a makeshift crowbar and go looting. <clears throat> a lot harder to get a hold of the capability than it used to be. Uh, I didn't bring anything I can really bash with. 
Uh, I'm not going to smash this with my gun or my katana. I didn't bring the makeshift to smash with either. I'd have to uh, pick up a stick or something. We'll just go in the other direction. Hey, look at that. That antiseptic that I forgot to pick up before we left. I think it's funny that the doors are locked from both sides, too. <laughs> Got some interesting locks on these doors when you can't open them from either side. Nope. Whoa! Hey there, zombie child! <laughs> Where the hell? It's kind of rude. Duck tick! I haven't yet begun to collect my uh, my leather supplies either. So, another tip for uh, brand new players. Make sure when you have bathtubs like this, you step into the center space so that you can see directly all of the adjacent tiles. Because you can't see items, you can see items. You can't see items, you can see items. The bathtub hides the items until you're adjacent. You can find first aid kits and other fun stuff, so make sure you're... Uh, Make sure you're stepping into the bathtubs to verify if you can't get adjacency to all the spaces. Umbrella! Clothing! I really, really want another uh, shot at getting a uh, rollerblades. Jar of pickles! Take an onion. Well, that's not a good place for you to be. What do we got in here? Powdered eggs and some pemmican and marshmallows and spam. Well, I definitely want those, so we'll, we'll lead you around in a little bit of a chase here. Here, follow me this way. The time you work your way around that scent trail. Hey! What the hell, game? <laughs> hey, dude! What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> so much for scent trail. <laughs> huh. Fine. Follow me this way. Bang away at that door for a bit. And he's back again. <laughs> it's funny. Cheating game. Only play by the rules when you wanna. Basements. Don't care. No, uh, no lab entrance. What do we got? Rotten milk. A lighter inside the uh, the the dryer. That doesn't sound very smart. All right. Done and done. one of these newer ones with unfortunately a zombie I don't want to mess with um, there's the bash item I could use there's a baseball bat but I'm gonna get screeched at if I stay down here If I fire, I'm going to get stuff from above, come down to investigate while I try to clear what else is. He's going to shriek at me. Yep, you hear a terrible shriek. Yep. Oh, not lit up yet. Oh, more zombies. Yeah. Hmm. 
Get in and out of here quick. Game system. I don't think I've seen this one before. Yeah, I've never seen this one before. There's welding gear down here. <clears throat> That's a little more convenient. Food dehydrator. I've already got the books. Acetylene torch. Welding mask. Hmm. Oh, new basement. I've never seen this basement before. It's the welder's basement. It's going to be too heavy. Um, we got 300... Well, 240 and 60. Uh, quantity of gas, which is enough to get uh, the early game stuff done if you're careful. The welding mask, so all the parts are here to get welding done. Don't care about the dehydrator, almost never use it. Um, I think I'm going to leave this here. We'll, we'll note it on the map. Welding basement. We'll come back for it. I can't afford to grab it. Take it out right now. Don't have any idea if there's any secret doors or anything in this place. Uh, if I'm coming back, I'm going to have to pulp some corpses. <laughs> All right, nothing else I see that I care too much about. And a little crowded. Let's go over here. Whoops, this is a survivor base. This is a survivor house. Oh, this is a survivor house. Um, yeah. Um, whoops. <laughs> A little too fast there. This place is dangerous, mostly due to uh, zombies having the option to kill you because they step on a landmine, which gets you shot or gets you uh, explodified. So they already removed the shotgun trap right there. Here's the double barrel shotgun. Don't care about the milk. This is the main thing I wanted to get into, was the garage. Sten, bullet puller, hand crank charger, ooh, the suppressor. That'll take. And everything else I don't care about. All I care about is the suppressor. Alright, it's too dangerous to go anywhere else in there. <laughs> This room's full of landmines and other traps, so I avoid it completely. Usually for the survivor houses, I just uh, go in through here. This area is safe until you get down to the uh, shotgun trap, so you can go anywhere in here and anywhere back here and in the garage with no problem. You got a shotgun trap, and then this whole room is just full of landmines around a table and stuff. And there's traps in the bathroom, too. There's a, uh, a landmine on the toilet. So, yeah, be a little careful. But uh, sometimes you can get some fun gun-related stuff and tool-related stuff in the uh, Survivor house garage. Can I put the suppressor on this thing? Let's find out. Um, unload that. Do I have the skill? Cannot add a compact suppressor. Nope. All right. 
<clears throat> the answer is no. Survivor houses are good only for the uh, the garage. So, occasionally you'll find something on the shelves or in the bedroom, but that's just random, random house loot, nothing important. But uh, the garage has always got some combination of tools and uh, gunsmith type of gear. So, depending on what you're doing and what you're after, you can find some pretty good stuff in the garage. But I wouldn't bother with the main room. It's just random house stuff that you can get in a million other houses. And um, as long as you're careful and you know where to look, the bathroom's fairly safe. But uh, if you're creeping through it for the first time, take one step, then wait four or five turns. That gives your perception the ability or the uh, opportunities to try to spot landmines ahead of you. And then step, wait again, step, wait again. Having trapping skill or a high perception is uh, much, much easier. You'll just auto-detect the landmines and other traps pretty easily. If you've got uh, three, even three trapping and a decent perception, you'll spot them real quick. All right, so we're going to call that one done as well. Head across the street. We still haven't gotten much in the way of food. <laughs> some flour, some spam. Powdered eggs is probably one of the best things we've gotten so far. Oh, there's a runner right where I don't want him. He's going to hear me step up into the kitchen area here. All right, you guys. Let's go this way. Whoops. Damn it. I'm moving faster than I should. No. Cockroach! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! <laughs> I hate these stupid things. Um, let's go... Here. I don't think I can get through this fast enough. Oh, there we go. Alright. Enjoy yourself, cockroach. I'm gonna go up this way. And so we've got a roach house. Probably the one I was about to head to. There's another roach right there. The cockroaches won't fight the zombies, so... Yeah, good old La Cucarachas. Oh, that was a survivor zombie. Well, I guess this is the cockroach house, or we've got multiples. Here we go. Low stamina with a uh, horde of cockroaches chasing me down. <laughs> God damn it. This is so annoying. Really annoying. <laughs> a, a simple window or door will solve this problem, but <laughs> they're fast enough that uh, just getting to the window or the door is the problem. And the and the, the, the zombies don't fight the cockroaches. So... Um, try the vehicle again. Yeah, I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna try to get to that vehicle. God damn cockroaches. We're about to have a serious problem because um, there's a lot of bad guys near me. I didn't make it! Here we go. Back to walk mode. Let's see. I need to go. I go up and around. Please don't be any zombies up this way. All right, perfect. We're gonna hang out right here, where we got good visibility in two different directions while we regain our stamina. <laughs> Uh love it. Yeah, the old stamina dropping leg damage. Pretty dangerous when you've got uh, 20 max hit points. <laughs> Even little tiny cockroaches will take you down. You get them at the wrong time. I had just enough stamina to get into that vehicle. I got worried. I was hoping I'd be able to get the trunk closed and then go out the other side, but I barely managed to get out and get that door closed on them. 
So cockroaches are an animal class of critter. They cannot open doors, break windows, things like that, like the zombies will. So just get any kind of a door, any kind of a barrier between you and them, and you're perfectly fine. So don't freak out too much, but um, just look around at your environment and try to find a way you can peel them off of you. Assuming you don't just chop them up. I mean, most characters will just chop them up pretty quick and easy. But um, this guy, we can't afford to... Uh, to make a lot of noise or to go into melee combat with anything, so. Uh, nope, cyborgs won't break windows. But any of the animal class type of things will not, uh, go through windows and doors and such. So, ants, acid ants, bees, wasps, moose, hmm, wolves, none of those things will go through those, so. As long as you're not caught out in the middle of a field by something like that, you should be fine, generally. More cockroaches. Damn it. That's not good. That is not good to have the cockroaches wandering around the area. I think we might have to relocate kind of up this direction. But what a trail I could get some pine nuts from. Maybe we'll go over there and get some pine nuts. It's a little safer than the rest of this. Ah, of course, bloated zombie between me and there. Bloated zombie's gonna hang out in the uh, the pine nut forest, is he? That's not cool. Ah! I forgot! <laughs> I forgot who else we had in the area. He's back! Hmm. Hey there, Mr. Troll. Wonder what the night vision range is on trolls. He's quick too, so I gotta be pretty careful. Let's uh let's cast wind running. Give myself a bit of a boost. We'll see if we can uh, get him involved in some anti zombie action. Apparently they can't see or hear very far. <laughs> hmm. Let's see. Let's move up here and we'll yell. Nope, that didn't get his attention either. He's focused on something. Well, alright. I guess we'll ignore you. Come here, zombie. Need the zombie to come down near the troll. There you go. Come on, you guys. Alright, now the troll's got his attention. Climb the fence and kind of get out of that area. 